please all stand for the Angelus. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, the angel of the Lord declared unto Mary, and she conceived by the Holy Spirit. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, God pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Behold the handmaid of the Lord. Be done to me according to your word. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, and now and at the hour of our death. Amen. And the Word is made flesh, and dwelt among us. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. O Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Pray for us, O Holy Mother of God, that we may be made worthy of the promise of Christ. Let us pray. For forth to beseech you, O Lord, your grace into our hearts, that we to whom the incarnation of Christ, your Son, was made known by the message of an angel, may by his passion and cross be brought to the glory of his resurrection, through the same Christ our Lord. Amen. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Mary, help of Christians, pray for us. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Good morning. Welcome to the Shrine of St. John Bosco the Dreamer. Together with our personal intentions, we also include the following. Thanksgiving Mass in honor of Mary, help of Christians. For the gift of life and birthday intentions of Dindin Abeliana, Stefan Lopez, Ted Valenzuela, Ronald, Frangelico Gomez, before Valenciano, Saul, James Lacanlale, and of Karen Joy. For the healing, recovery, and good health of Princess Diane, Roberta Torcolas, and Brother George Celis. For the intentions of Kyle Angelo, Brian, CJ and Macy Carandang, Churchill, Joseph, Anselmo, Linnell, Adam and Pamela, Erna Fe Andrake, Ramoses Andrake, and Obrinaldo Andrake. For the eternal repose of the souls of Medelena Rodes, Faustina Cortes, Pantaleon Cortes Sr., Fermin Balisteros, Aldebrando Maniacap, Ferre Cafort, Justin Hen Henry Nakasabo, Corazon Reyes, Nardo Nieri, Virgilio Tan, Winaventura Sinogini, Chito Sengulnigni, Laurencio Hisoler, Eldefonso Hisoler, Antonio Hisoler, Francisco Hisoler, Mario Hisoler, Miguel Quizon, Milagros Quizon, Stephen Tan, Ponciano, Maria, Jose, Jesus, Anselmo, Ifanio, Andres, Pedro, Baltazar, Francisco, Felisa, William, Senecio, Yancy, Amado, Leonessa, Oscar, Noel, Virginia, May Kaila, Fredeswinda, Benedicto, Eugene, Gaspar, Humildad, Eugenio, Cam, Fe, Maria Asela Fe, Edmundo, Concepcion, Jimmy, Cono, Felipe, Nelly, Socorro, Eustachio, Estelita, Eustachio Jr., Senador, Catalina, Agrippina, Melesio, Quintana, Manolita, Rafael, Merna, Jacinto, Bonifacia, Simon, Elpidio, Juana, Jose, Thomas, Felicidad, Anita, Martina, Pilar, Willie, Alfio, Bernadette, Sandy, Cesar, Dim, Jess, Christian, Lita, Avilino, Arturo, Sita, Lasam, Ruena, Aunshu, Virginia, 
Noel, and for the eternal repose of the souls in purgatory. Please all stand. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, and the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. Brothers and sisters, let us acknowledge our sins, and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. You were sent to heal the contrite of heart, Kyrie eleison. Kyrie eleison. You came to call sinners, Christe eleison. Christe eleison. You are seated at the right hand of the Father to intercede for us, Kyrie eleison. Kyrie eleison. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. Guard your church, we pray, O Lord, in your unceasing mercy. And since without you mortal humanity is sure to fall, may we be kept by your constant helps from all harm and directed to all that brings salvation. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the book of the prophet Isaiah. Hear the word of the Lord, princess of Sodom. Listen to the instruction of our God, people of Gomorrah. Wash yourselves clean. Put away your misdeeds from before my eyes. Cease doing evil. Learn to do good. Make justice your aim. Redress the wrong. Hear the orphan's plea. Defend the widow. Come now. Let us set things right, says the Lord. Though your sins be like scarlet, they may become white as snow. Though they may be crimson red, they may become white as wool. If you are willing and obey, you shall eat the good things of the land. But if you refuse and resist, the sword shall consume you. For the mouth of the Lord has spoken. The word of the Lord. To the upright, I will show the saving power of God. To the upright, I will show the saving power of God. Not for your sacrifices do I rebuke you, for your burnt offerings are before me always. I take from your house no bullock, no goats out of your fold. To the upright I will show the saving power of God. Why do you recite my statutes and profess my covenant with your mouth? Though you hate discipline, and cast my words behind you. To the upright, I will show the, the saving power of God. When you do these things, shall I be devil with? Or do you think that I am like yourself? 
I will correct you by drawing them up before your eyes. He that offers praise as a sacrifice glorifies me. And to him that goes the right way, I will show the salvation of God. To the upright, I will show the saving power of God. Please all stand. Glory to you, O Word of God, Lord Jesus Christ. Glory to you, O Word of God, Lord Jesus Christ. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus spoke to the crowds and to his disciples, saying, The scribes and the Pharisees have taken their seat on the chair of Moses. Therefore, do and observe all things whatsoever they tell you. But do not follow their example. For they preach, but they do not practice. They tie up heavy burdens, hard to carry, and lay them on people's shoulders, but they will not lift a finger to move them. All their works are performed to be seen. They widen their phylacteries and lengthen their tassels. They love places of honor at banquets, seats of honor in synagogues, greetings in marketplaces, and the salutation rabbi. As for you, do not be called rabbi. You have but one teacher, and you are all brothers. Call no one on earth your father. You have but one father in heaven. Do not be called master. You have but one master, the Christ. The greatest among you must be your servant. Whoever exalts himself will be humbled, but whoever humbles himself will be exalted. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Today's readings speak of turning away from wicked ways and repenting, not only because of the sins and wrongdoings which have been committed, but also so that one will be more free to serve others rather than serve oneself. In the first reading from the prophet Isaiah, he addresses the people of Israel, reminding them that it is not enough to just turn away from wrongdoing and sin, but that they must also do good, search for justice, redress the wrong, hear the cry of the poor and come to their aid, and defend the helpless. This message is also for us today. If we commit ourselves to doing what is right and good, it is a sign that we are redirecting our lives towards God. In the Gospel, Jesus criticizes those leaders who do not walk the talk. They might say the right things, but they do not live them out in their own lives. It was not Jesus' intention to forbid us from calling anyone on earth those titles to those who are teaching us, to our own father, or to any master or leader. Ang iyang tumong mao ang pagsaway sa kinaiya nga mag-apas lamang sa mga titulo o pasidungog. O gisaway usab ni Jesus ang batasan nga mapasigarbuhon o mapahitaskon. In what ways? Can we then become witnesses of our faith in God? Our Lord Jesus said at the conclusion of today's gospel, The greatest among you must be your servant. Whoever exalts himself will be humbled, but whoever humbles himself will be exalted. Humility expressed through authentic service is an act of witness and proclamation 
especially in our world today. St. Pope Paul VI in his apostolic exhortation, Evangelii Nunciandi, wrote, Modern man listens more willingly to witnesses than to teachers, and if he does listen to teachers, it is because they are witnesses. And he continues on by saying that the first means of evangelization is the witness of an authentically Christian life. It is primarily, primarily by her conduct and by her life that the church will evangelize the world. In other words, by her living witness of fidelity to the Lord Jesus. The witness of poverty and detachment, of freedom in the face of powers of this world. In short, the witness of sanctity. These words from St. Pope Paul VI is an echo of our gospel today. Brothers and sisters, what will make us credible Christians today? It is no other than the moral life that we give our best to live every day. This gives flesh the Christian teachings that we believe and proclaim. When we do our best to practice what we ourselves proclaim and believe, we make it easier for people to understand and follow what we teach them. Fellow followers of the Lord, let us ask in this Holy Eucharist for the grace of humility and charity, which will lead us to real service, making us witnesses of the Gospel today. Let us remember, modern man listens more willingly to witnesses than to teachers, and if he does listen to teachers, it is because they are witnesses. Let us heed the admonition of our Lord, who taught us to do His work humbly and without ostentation. Let the response be, Lord, hear our prayer. Lord, hear our prayer. That the church leaders may be totally dedicated to their noble calling to preach the gospel. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That parents and teachers may accompany their teachings with witnessing and good examples. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That we may always seek to do what is right, and may God's word be a living power influencing our actions. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That we may look with love and compassion upon the sick, the old, and the lonely. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That the dead may find rest and new life in the kingdom of God. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Heavenly Father, deepen our faith so that we may grow in your love and always serve you with generous and sincere heart. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen.
blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands. It will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the vine and work of human hands. It will become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of His name, for our good and the good of all His holy church. Be pleased to work your sanctification within us by means of these mysteries, O Lord, and by it we are cleansed of earthly faults and led to the gifts of heaven. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. Lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. For you have given your children a sacred time for the renewing and purifying of their hearts, that freed from disordered affections, they may so deal with the things of this passing world as to hold rather to the things that eternally endure. And so with all the angels and saints, we praise you as without end we acclaim. Indeed, holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and, giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The Mystery of Faith
Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that, partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity. Together with Francis, our Pope, and Jose, our Bishop, his assistant bishops, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life, and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Jesus taught us to call God our Father, and so we have the courage to pray. O Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace, I leave you. My peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Lamb of God, you take, take away, away the sins of the world, have, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold Him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, Lord I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. The body of Christ. Amen. Amen. Spiritual communion. O Jesus, I turn toward the Holy Tabernacle, where you live hidden for love of me. I love you, my God, 
I cannot receive you in Holy Communion. Come, nevertheless, and receive me with your grace. Come spiritually into my heart, purify it, sanctify it, render it like unto your own. Amen. Let us pray. 
May the refreshment of this sacred table, O Lord, we pray, bring us an increase in devoutness of life and the constant help of your work of conciliation. Through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. And may Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Mass has been offered. Go in peace. Thanks be to God.